When I see a blank wall, I just want to find a way to put some color on it, to give it a voice. And I always see walls as a huge blank canvas for someone to paint on. And then I see maybe the logistics about how to maybe get that wall painted. Like, what kind of list would we need? What kind of paint would we need? Who would be ideal for it? What is the access? How's the lighting? When I see a blank wall, I see an opportunity. Pow is basically a week-long arts festival, but in many ways it's different than any other festival in the world. It's not just these finished murals that are important, but also the act of creating them and the act of getting all these artists together. The Pow artists come from all over the world. We have artists from Austria, England, all over the United States, China, Taiwan, Japan. We've slowly, slowly been able to build this global community and this global family. The trip around Kaka'ako, it was a parade of artists. There was a, like a buzz, like excitement. And I know we were really... Everyone was getting really excited about certain walls. Yeah, right. Pretty awesome to see um, traffic being stopped by artists as they cross the street. Being surrounded by all these well-known artists, it's inspirational and sometimes you're like, man, wow, they're really pushing the bar. So it can be... It's extremely humbling. Humbling, yeah, yeah. that's the word. It makes you want to like step up. I've never been surrounded with so many artists from outside of Hawaii before. It's like a little spotlight and everybody's paying attention to this event. So that goes a lot of responsibility as an artist and I wasn't sure if I can deliver what is expected of the artist to deliver for the show, but it's a very refreshing experience. This year, we took the artist on a cultural tour of Hawaii. It was a way to sort of share Hawaii's unique history. It was also a way to sort of bring them all together. Because then we threw them all into three vans and then we drove them all over for a whole day just to see the real Hawaii. Being a part of Pow Wow, to tell you the truth, it was probably the most impactful and amazing experience I've had in a long time just because of the way that everything was brought together and the closeness that everybody had and the way that it's set up. It's definitely unique in the aspect that it's just a whole lot of people. It's like a family. It's not just sort of a day of painting and then disappearing. It's actually hanging out. You know, here's 40 or 50 or 100 people that are here to do the same thing living together, working together, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Partying together, relaxing together, having a hangover together, you know, it's all part of it. I mean, it's nothing like I've ever done before, but it was, it was definitely an incredible experience.
I think the one thing that sets us apart from other festivals is the collaborative aspect of it. We really push to have the artists work together. I think most of us as artists, we're used to being alone and in our sanctuaries painting. But then there's a beauty to sort of being together in a big group. Everyone brings their individual creative energies together and there's no way that something amazing isn't going to happen. Collaboration between artists is always an interesting thing because everyone has their own ways of working, their own ways of doing things, their own ways of thinking. In this case, when I worked with Rowan, it really has completely changed the way that I think about my own work. And the thing that I really love about this piece is it was a true collaboration where there's no distinct line between what his hand touched and what my hands touched. I would hold the brush, he would hold the paint, we'd switch off. He would use the ladder, I would use the lift. I was learning about his techniques and he was learning a lot about my color theories. And It was just a really, really eye-opening experience. It's amazing what's going on right now because it's a 24-7 open studio and it's completely open to the public. No one's painting behind closed doors. It's art that's accessible to people. I think a lot of people are interested in art, but they're not really sure what gallery to go to, or they kind of feel maybe intimidated by those white wall galleries. But here they're just walking with their kids on the street or bicycling by on their way to work, and then they get to see amazing art. You can never beat the first-hand experience when viewing art versus seeing it after it's done from a studio and in a gallery or online. You can't beat being there in person and seeing the process happen. I think cities that have a lack of color, it just lets people walk down the street and just focus on their phone. So walking around a city and not being able to be affected by anything in the city, it's something that's always going to keep you within yourself. You're not going to even pay attention to anything outside of yourself. When I see a blank wall or a spot or whatever, I straight away like see things what I could do or what could be possible, like warehouses or factories or whatever, just flat walls with no windows. I don't really see the point why it's not painted. I think the thing with public art is people are walking around not expecting it. You know, if you look around the city, there's so many gray, beige, brown walls. It's kind of rare to run into a big piece of art. So when I see a blank wall, it's, it's nuts because when I started painting walls, it changes you. The way skaters look at rails or when surfers go by the beach and there's like super sick sets, it's the same shit. When I see a blank wall, it depends if it's big or small. These days we just want to go bigger and bigger. We did quite a large one this year, we want to go bigger next time. It's quite satisfying doing something that people just sort of go, whoa. I think public art engages the everyday people that would never walk by you or even come and talk to you. It's able to make an impact on just about anybody that walks by. When I look at a mural, I really look at how you can change the space around it, not just the actual wall or the colors on the wall. I think public art has the opportunity to engage spaces, bringing together community members who otherwise wouldn't be in one place, allowing them to celebrate together, share culture, share history, that's also very much a part of the art. I feel like it really does activate a space afterwards. The wall's there, but also a community is a little bit closer together. What I would want Powell to be in the future is for it to become a worldwide network of artists to be able to do different events, 
and do different education initiatives on every part of the world to sort of share art. When you share art between different people from all over the world, it brings them all together. It makes the world smaller in a way. When you're sharing art, you're not only sharing your art, you're also sharing your culture and your stories and your history. Beyond sharing art, that's sort of the real goal. Murvière, c'est comme si des milliers et des millions de papillons me rentraient dans le cul et sortaient par mon ventre. <rire> <rire>